we all are fond of films, aren't we? And one of the highest grossing films of all time, Avatar, was one such film where it had a unique concept of having an avatar which could indulge in different kinds of activity in a different world altogether. But wait, haven't we heard of something similar to this in the recent times? Indeed we have. Yes, I'm talking about the metaverse. These days, it is the new buzzword in town due to its limitless potential to revolutionize the internet. No doubt the metaverse has a bright future ahead and many companies are bullish on it too. All this sounds great and fantastic, but one thing is getting unnoticed here, which is that with all its glamorous developments, the metaverse is also bringing with it certain set of crucial challenges that we have to deal properly. The metaverse is a digital ecosystem where human beings can interact with each other through their digital incarnations, or in simple terms, I can call them as their digital avatars. These digital avatars might be just like us, or they may, may be completely different altogether. Now, just like human beings, these digital avatars will also indulge in various kinds of activities, and this is fine. But just imagine a scenario where a person, through his or her digital avatar, tries to commit an illegal act in the metaverse. For example, robbing someone in the metaverse, or causing some kind of a crime in the metaverse. Then in such a situation, can a specific legal action be taken against that digital avatar, or the person behind that digital avatar? Or another question is, can, just like human beings, can these digital avatars also form a valid legal contract with each other? Well, here the concept of giving legal entity to these digital avatars becomes very much important. Now, what is legal entity? Legal entity is simply an individual, an organization, or an individual having legal rights and obligations. As of now, there are no specific set of rules and laws that actually grant legal entity to these digital avatars. In fact, many countries today have not even decided yet whether they want to grant legal entity to these digital avatars or not. However, sooner or later, granting legal entity to these avatars will become necessary. Because at the end of the day, all these entities will be governed by a law in the metaverse. According to the tech consulting firm Gartner, by 2026, around 25% of the people in the world will spend at least an hour on the metaverse. They will spend an hour doing different kinds of activities such as social activities, education, work, and whatnot. Now, this clearly indicates us that the adoption of metaverse is growing at a rampant pace, specifically considering the immersive experience that it brings with it. However, there is a catch here. The catch is that with the increase in the number of digital users, it also means increase in the amount of data that will be produced in the metaverse due to the activities and interactions of these digital avatars. This data might be of different types. For example, normal data, like data pertaining to the day-to-day -day activities of the digital avatar, or sensitive data. For example, data pertaining to the transactions made by these digital avatars. Further, increase in the amount of data is directly proportional to increase in the demands of measures to protect that data. And that becomes very much important. I mean, just imagine a scenario where huge volumes of data is being produced every single day, and yet we don't have any specific systems and frameworks to protect that data. Fortunately, the concept of data protection has gained significant prominence in the physical world. However, this concept of data protection becomes even more critical when we talk about metaverse. Why? because the metaverse opens up various ways through which data can be generated. For example, data of users, data of digital avatars, data of big tech companies, and whatnot. In the real world, yes, we do have examples of data protection laws. For example, the General Data Protection Regulation of the European Union, that is the GDPR. These laws help us in efficiency. Efficiency as in, they help us in storing processing, and security of data. So on these similar lines, we need to have a specific data protection law for the metaverse, or at least some universal set of principles that could be followed by digital stakeholders in order to protect that data. Now, when we talk about cyberspace, there is one thing that is very much clear. That is the cyber crimes. And just like cyberspace, the metaverse also faces 
an immense challenge in the form of these cyber crimes. The cyber crimes have always been a serious issue and they have plagued the internet ever since they have existed. Now, similarly in the metaverse, where digital avatars produce huge amounts of data, in such a scenario, this virtual world becomes a fertile ground for the cyber criminals to attack innocent entities in the metaverse. The metaverse in today's time has become extremely crucial. And that's why I want you all guys to remember one point. Listen to this very carefully. Whenever there is a new technology, which is comparatively new and has an attraction point to it, attraction point as in it attracts people to explore that technology, and at the same time, that technology is not regulated, that, ladies and gentlemen, becomes a perfect recipe for every cyber criminal to commit a cyber crime in the metaverse. In today's times, these cyber crimes are growing at an unimaginable rate that we can't even imagine. And that's why having specific tactics and techniques to tackle these cyber crimes becomes essential for every single entity in the metaverse. The cyber criminals can use metaverse as a medium to commit cyber attacks in the metaverse and attack innocent entities which are completely vulnerable to these attacks. These entities can be digital users and digital avatars, big tech companies, whatnot. According to the Global Police Agency Interpol, the metaverse will open up a new world of cyber crimes. In other words, we can say that the metaverse will open up new pathways through which different kinds of cyber crimes can be committed. And this becomes a very important issue. Now, these cyber crimes have always had this strong connection with cyber security. And that's why the concept of cyber security has gained massive importance when we talk about cyber security in the metaverse. The metaverse has to be secure, reliable, and innovative in order to succeed in the long run. And in this context, having certain measures of cyber security in the metaverse becomes extremely crucial. Like any other new technology, the metaverse will be vulnerable to different kinds of cyber crimes in it, and that's why cyber security becomes very much important. Appropriate rights, duties, and responsibilities of digital users, digital avatars, and big tech companies have to be properly elaborated by lawmakers in the country. Different governments of the world have to come together in order to critically analyze that the cyber security measures are the need of the hour. At the end of the day, these cyber security measures become vital and they are, are actually a last hope to tackle these cyber crimes in the metaverse space. Unfortunately, right now, everyone is looking at the metaverse through a narrow approach. This is in the context of different companies having their respective metaverse presences. But the reality is that it is the cumulative combination of different metaverse entities and big tech companies together combined that would complete the metaverse as a whole. The metaverse is expected to grow at a rate of 13.1% every single year. And as an industry, it is expected to be worth around $800 billion by 2024. But that's a huge number. And when we look at these figures, we study these projected figures, we understand one thing, that this tells us a very inspiring future. However, in order for this inspiring future to be true, it's important that the policymakers have to critically analyze all these issues that we have talked about today. The governments of the world have to join hands with all the entities in the metaverse in order to combat these cyber crimes in it. And one thing is for sure, if you are able to successfully combat these cyber crimes in this initial phase of the metaverse, then this would lay the foundation of a reliable and a secure metaverse in the future. To conclude, I would just like to say, metaverse is the promise of the future, and together, you all can fulfill this promise successfully. Thank you.